Hi, this is Pedia Bergzerk Arcade at bergzerkarcade.com, and uh, here I am back down in the dungeon answering a few more questions, and I want to address this one separately. It was sent to me by Speedier1 uh, on the on the website bergzerkarcade.com. It was a PM sent to me, and it's a question I actually do get fairly often, maybe not so much in the last little while, but uh, a few months back I, w I was getting this quite a bit, probably around the beginning of the summer. Uh, so anyway, so... Uh, hey, Apedia. Well, I guess you can actually see it on the screen here. Uh, but hey, Apedia, uh, really enjoying all your tutorials. The question is not really related to anything on your web page. Uh, I currently have a Windows Vista and I'm really looking into upgrading to a Mac. Uh, but here's the question What type of Mac should I get? Uh, I'm mainly a gamer and uh, mainly a gamer, but have recently gone into game design or at least trying to learn it. And you can keep reading on. Uh, basically, the question is, you know, he's a gamer. He has a Windows Vista machine. He's looking at upgrading to a Mac for game development. And I'm just going to stop you right there because you do not need a Mac for game development. Uh, what you want to do is actually sit down and consider what applications, what tools do you need to actually accomplish uh, the game development cycle that you want to uh, pursue. So, for instance, if, if you're following me, chances are you're probably using Unity. And Unity will run on Windows and also on the Mac. And I've actually seen videos of people having it running on various forms of Linux like Ubuntu and stuff like that. But I have no experience with the, the Linux side. I've only run it on Windows and mainly Mac for me. Uh, what other tools are you going to use? Are you going to be doing your own 3D modeling? If so, uh, what application do you use? If you use 3D Studio Max, then you pretty much have to use Windows because it doesn't run on uh, Mac. Well, I guess technically you could run it on Mac, run it through Boot Camp or something like that. Uh, but like I said, you do not need a Mac for development. And the Mac that you listed, you're looking for a desktop Mac. And you said the only one you could find was the Mac Pro. I use an iMac. And you don't even have to go that far. You've already have a, a, a nice monitor that you like to keep. Uh, you could probably look at a Mac Mini, although the Mac Mini is not going to be very good for gaming. Uh, maybe the, the mid-level Mac Mini, uh, if you soup up its specs, might be okay. I can't remember. I remember it had a decent video card. I can't remember exactly how good uh, it was. Uh, but if you really do want to get a Mac and you want to have a multi-purpose Mac that's reasonably affordable, that you can play games on, uh, which, like I said, multi-purpose, do a ton of different things on, I would personally recommend the iMac. Uh, the Mac Pro is nice, but... Right now, for the price, I couldn't justify buying that. Uh, sure, you can get up to 24 cores, but I'm not going to spend 6000 uh on the particular uh, Mac Pro that they have listed. Now, it is due for a refresh, I believe. So, uh, maybe wait if you really want. I, I would recommend going with an iMac, though. But anyway, like I said, just a quick recap. Uh, you don't really need an iMac for game development. Look at the actual applications you're going to use. Uh, you have Audacity, which will run on either Windows or Mac, and you can use that for pretty much all of your sound effects. Uh, Blender 3D will do all of your modeling for you. You have uh, the GIMP, which will do all of your texturing and everything else for you. You have Unity, which will actually, well, you'll be using for your game engine. Uh, all those applications will run on both. Uh, if you just don't like Vista, upgrade to uh, Windows 7. That's what I'm currently using. And I haven't had a problem with it. I didn't really have a whole lot of problems with Vista either. But uh, I know a lot of people just didn't like it. So uh, maybe just upgrade to Windows 7 might be the key for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. And for anyone else that has any other questions, make sure to post them. And uh, I'll try to get around to answering them. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.